Hi, today on this edition of 10 and 10, we're going to look at 10 books to get you going on your Mac. And so if you are a complete beginner at Macintosh, and even if you know your Mac, you can still learn something from these 10 books. So let's get the timer going. And we got about 10 minutes to walk through these 10 books. All right, so we're using a program called iBooks. iBooks comes on your Mac. It's a free program. Uh, it's essentially, it's a, a electronic book reader. It's kind of like a Kindle for your Mac. And so all of these books are free. Uh, all of these books you can get uh, off of the uh, Apple iBook store. Uh, all you need is an Apple ID, and we're encouraging our teachers to just use their own Apple IT ID, but don't use your EPISD username uh, to set up your Apple ID. So let's look at that first book. The first book is called The Mac Starter Guide. This is a great book for teachers that have never, ever used a Mac before, because what this does is essentially it walks you through the entire Macintosh process, how the Mac works, how the OS works. So just to help you navigate through, if you always come back here to the table of contents and click on thumbnails, you'll always get these books at the bottom. These books are actually written for iBooks, which is a pretty cool program in itself. So you can see the books here. This is a, the, an overview of the book, getting started with your Mac, how to use these selected things like Siri, how to get on a Wi-Fi network, all the basic, basic things. Um, how to navigate through your Mac, how to organize your files, how to manage your files, how to create new files, how to share things. What's neat about all of these programs, all these uh, books, is that they have built-in interactive. So for instance here in chapter 3, if you have a uh, dragging and dropping, uh, there's actually a built-in movie that you can watch that shows how to use drag and drop uh, as part of that. Um, a built-in program so that's pretty that's pretty cool and so you can see here's another book using mission control but you didn't even know there was something called mission control and so uh, it's just a little 48 49 second movie on how to use mission control which is really cool mission control allows you to have multiple desktops going at one time so that's the first book the Mac starter guide so we're gonna go back to our list of books here the next one is called pages for Mac so if you're unfamiliar with the iWorks suite of programs that came loaded on your Mac already. They are Pages and uh, Numbers and Keynote. And Pages is the word processing program. And so these are, uh, these are the, the programs that students can use to create content. Of course, they can also use their Office 365 accounts. So these are just some more tools that are available to them. I like Pages because it is, um, a pretty graphically easy to use uh, program and I think it allows students that aren't familiar with word processing it lets them in really quickly um, it's kind of like low-hanging fruit on word processing so it's got the built-in templates again all the things uh, that go with these books what's really neat about these books by the way is that at the end there's always a chapter called Going Further, or somewhere in the book, there's something called Going Further. And if you go to that chapter, you'll actually get ideas for how to use that particular program in your classes. So how would you use pages in literacy, math, history, and assessment? So that's a really cool uh, book to use. Next one is Numbers. Numbers is, of course, the... Um, the spreadsheet program that comes already on your Mac. Again, if you're familiar with Excel, then you probably can figure out numbers pretty easily. The neat thing about numbers is that, again, it's, it's a lot more graphical and it seems easier for students to know. So this walks you through how to go through numbers. And, and what's neat is that you can actually click on things and some more information will pop up. I really like the pop-up. So Anytime you see, uh, anytime you see something that's got like a, a button around it, that's something that you can go further into with that program. So there's always built-in stuff that's part of these uh, programs. Really neat. There's some skills that you can do, and you just click on it, and it'll actually show you how to do that. So these are really cool. Step one, step two, step three. So if you're not familiar with numbers, this is a great way. This is a great introduction to that book. Uh, to that program, excuse me. Keynote is the uh, Apple version of PowerPoint. Uh, again, um, 
It's not exactly like PowerPoint, but it can do many, many of the things that PowerPoint can do and some more. I like it because it's very graphical. It's very easy to use. Again, go back to the, to the toenails, the thumbnails, and it'll get you going. Uh, again, with a, here's a welcome. Here's how to get on going on Keynote, uh, how to use the book, how to use it. And then again, it walks you through the basics of that program. You'll notice that in all of these, the toolbars and the formatting documents and the menu bars all look very, very similar. So that's another thing that's neat about these programs is that if you understand how pages is laid out, then you pretty much understand how Keynote is laid out and you understand how Numbers is laid out. Again, it's got built-in interactives. It'll pop up. There's uh, built-in movies as well. And then it's got all the things that you can do with Keynote. I want to uh, add a background image so I just click on it it shows you how to add a background image so really some really great stuff there okay so that's keynote the next one is called enhancing productivity with your Mac and this is a really neat program a uh, really neat book because what it does is it shows how you can put all these programs together that come on your Mac to do something special with it so say for instance I'm interested in um, I don't know, um, organizing a, a, a research project. This kind of book will show you how to put all of those things together. So you can see here in this book, it shows how to do student productivity with Mac, some fundamentals of productivity, getting organized, documenting and reflecting, planning and sharing. Those things sound a lot like active learning. And those active learning tools are available already on your Mac. So this is a really cool thing course you click on explore more you'll get even more ideas on how to use uh, how to use your tools that are available on the Mac and so this is a really neat program this is a really neat uh, uh, book to get you going on productivity but also your students as well the next one I, is the one I really like because it's fostering creativity with your Mac how can you use all these tools to uh, be creative with your Mac and so you know often we think well you can just you just use iMovie or something and that's a garage band and that's the creativity but no you can actually be creative with all of these programs so what's the creative process we've probably seen this a lot what's brainstorming what's um, you know gathering inspirational resources telling compelling stories this walks students through and then what's neat about it is that here are the tools that go with these and all of these tools are already on your Mac they already come on your students Mac so that's a great thing all right wow we got so much stuff going on by the way fostering creativity also has built into it at the end I think um, how to do these things in other courses uh, so and then there's lots of really neat uh, things to go further in so like personal projects, exploring creativity, all of these are other books that are available for free in the iBook store. There's three other books, uh, excuse me, there's uh, this book as iMovie for Mac. Everybody's probably familiar with iMovie and how to make movies. Uh, even if you're not familiar with the program itself, you probably have heard of it. This book, as again, shows students the basic basics of iMovie, shows you the basics of iMovie. And uh, how it's laid out, how you can do some, uh, there's some video tutorials. What's neat about some of these books is that there are built-in videos in, in these books. And if you click twice on them, I think you can get a full screen. I'm not, uh, not quite sure how that works on this. Oh, here we go, full screen. There we go. So you get the full screen version of that whole book showing up, uh, that movie, in your, in your uh, uh, screen there. And so this shows how to get going on iMovie. Here are the different things that you can do in iMovie, working with iMovie, how it's all broken down. You can see how the all these different things are. <laughs> it's a complicated program, but, but this book will get you going on it, I promise. So the last three, I'm running out of time, but the last three are really interesting books that you can get to once you've figured out how to use all the programs. Elements for Success, Innovating in Schools, and Elements for Leadership. These are three great books for like changing the culture at your campus for using technology. And even though they use Apple programs, 
you don't it's not apple specific you don't have to have a macintosh for instance to make a movie or write a write a paper or make a spreadsheet but they use apple as kind of the examples and so i think you can easily make that shift from between apple and the pc world and the ios world by and looking at those books so try them out they're 10 they're free. <laughs>